Hey everybody out there, Bill Bradford here with the Samuels & Sons Seafood Market Update. Now we have some great updates for you, including a brand new tank raised Siberian sturgeon, new Wild Alaska updates, and local fish updates. Now, first of all, speaking of Wild Alaska, we have an exciting new contest for you guys. Samuels is offering $1,500 to give to you, the chef, in participating in this great contest. So I'm joined here with my friends from Samuels, Dana and Joe. Dana, thank you for joining me. Thank you, Bill. How are you? Good, thank you. Joe, how are you? Great to be here, Bill. Absolutely. So, Joe, uh, you've kind of been spearheading some of this contest. Tell us, uh, how do they, how does it work? Absolutely, Bill. This is going to be a great t contest giving our chefs an opportunity to win $1,500 cold hard cash. It's very simple. Pick a menu item you have that features a non-seafood protein, swap it out with a delicious seafood protein from Wild Alaska Seafood. For example, gross, disgusting, ugh, can't even eat this cheeseburger. Let's swap that out, Dana, for... Delicious salmon burger oh, yeah. made from wild Alaska salmon. We have this bland chicken here. No one wants to, no one wants to eat that. Come on, look at how small hey, that is. That's, that's disgusting. We're going to swap that out for some delicious wild Alaska halibut. It's as easy as that. Okay, that is easy. Um, obviously, I agree the seafood looks a little better in this uh, segment. <laughs> um, so, Dana, how can chefs get involved here? For the chefs to submit their work, their recipe swap, they all have to do is send an email to marketing at samuelsandsonseafood.com with their recipe, a photo of their recipe, their name, email, and phone number. And I'm really excited to see what my chefs can come up with this time. All right, great. So it's going to be an exciting contest. You guys can get involved easily. So uh, moving forward, let's get started with this week's updates. Dana, Joe, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you, Bill. Thanks, Bill. Hey look everybody, I do have crabs, except this time it's good news. So Samuels is bringing in jumbos, whales, and other sizes into our facility. Now these are being caught in Florida, and as the water temperatures warm up, we'll see them migrate north into local fishing areas such as New Jersey. So availability is day to day, but like I said, I do have crabs, and they're delicious as ever. So talk to your sales rep about getting your hands on some. Whoa, look at this beast. This is the newest addition here at Samuels. It's our new Siberian sturgeon. These are tank raised in Florida, which actually means that they're a Monterey Bay best choice. So it's a great sustainable option for you guys. Now also as a chef, what you'll appreciate is, it has a little bit more of a mild flavor than that of a maybe a wild white sturgeon. Also, it's got a better fat content. If you cut it open and flay it, you actually see the fat on the flay, so it's pretty cool. So these fish are coming in at 7 to 12 pounds. We offer whole fish with the head on, also bullets, and of course, house cut fillets. So speak to your sales rep about getting your hands on one of these, and remember, we always welcome your feedback. Okay, let's cap everything off with some updates this week. Just in season, fresh Maryland crab meat. So crabbers off the coast of Maryland are off, and we're getting the best meat available. Now this meat is fresh and steamed. It's very flavorful. We have lump and jumbo lump available, so it's a great option right now. Now also off the east coast, there are some unfavorable weather conditions that have blown some boats in, along with some seasons closing, so items like fluke and wild striped bass may have a limited availability. Keep in mind, we have plenty of fish always in stock. Right now, we have beautiful Spanish mackerel, black sea bass, pollock, cod, haddock, and many more. West Coast halibut season is in full gear. We have the best fish in house, and we're awaiting Wild Alaska's first harvest. Now, when we get Wild Alaska's first halibut, that means that Wild Alaska salmon will soon be in tow. So keep your eyes open. Now, a nice little segue to salmon. The algae bloom in Chile has still affected the availability of Chilean salmon and even made its mark on Canadian salmon. However, right now, Samuels is recommending to you sustainable Verlasso salmon. Many of our top chefs depend on it for its delicious flavor quality and also its dependability and availability right now. So that's a great thing to look at when things are going on like the algae bloom in Chile. So also it's a very sustainable item. It's a good alternative by Monterey Bay. So please keep in mind, Verlasso salmon is our recommendation this week. Now, as always, this is Bill Bradford reporting to you saying, we're not broadcasters, we're fish people.